As some of you may know, bounties were introduced into the Lookism storyline in the latest chapter, 454. In the latest chapter of Lookism, the bounties of the Big Deal crew were revealed to us, most of them, such as Jake Kim with a bounty of 200 million won and Jerry with a bounty of 90 million. So what exactly would someone like John Gunn or Go Kim's bounty be? Now, quick disclaimer, this is just speculation obviously, as Gunn and Go are indeed against illegal stuff, and that's how they run their four major crews. No illegal shit. But let's say they were wanted criminals just like the likes of the Big Deal crew. What would their bounty be? First off, Gun and Go. If we're gonna start off stating the obvious, Gun's bounty would obviously be larger than Jake's, as he literally off screened his ass and gave him his permanent mouth scar. Just this is gonna put his starter bounty at 400 mil. Gun also started the four major crews with Go. Now, although this was really Charles Troy's idea, it was still Gun and Go's work. The four major crews, although instructed to stay away from crime, do the exact opposite. For Hostel, I don't think this needs any explaining, but Ali Wang's hostel consisted of runaway fans that literally exploited teen girls. That's some hardcore shit. Then we got God Dog, which before it turned into just Johan, some of its members did indeed commit some crime. Scamming and all that shit. But I'm not gonna go off on a tangent explaining that as you've most probably read the God Dog arc if you're still here. For big deal, they're currently really the only wanted people in the actual storyline, so I won't mention those guys as they don't really need any explaining. The workers, on the other hand, are an organization based on crime. The fourth affiliate, 1MCN, you know, illegal streaming business, kidnapping kids, having adults spy on these literal children whilst they're streaming themselves doing some sketchy activity. Not really gonna mention it, but you know. The third affiliate, we got Hotel Vivi, bunch of kids doing drugs and helping some other kids. Really some messed up shit. These kids were literally hidden in a moving room and they still managed to hide this shit from Go. Anyway, the second affiliate, underground fighting cell, fight to the death, only one man survives, killing 99 people in front of a crowd of idiots and Tom Lee. Which is pretty much another idiot fella. Then we got the sketchy underground prison shit going on with the first affiliate, which we still don't know much about, but you get where I'm going with this here. And even though Gunn isn't really doing this, he is in charge of the four major crews in general, and without him, the workers as well as the other major crews wouldn't really be popular, or known, or even successful in the first place. Oh, and go to. After all this, I'm gonna be placing John Gunn and Jungo's bounties at the same spot because nothing else is really significant compared to what they did with the four major crews. So I'll put their bounties at 2.5 billion one. I was going to place it a little bit higher, but I'm taking into account the fact that some of this responsibility would be placed on Charles Troy and the owners of the crews if this shit were to ever be revealed to the public. Anyway, keep in mind that 2.5 billion one is not 2.5 billion dollars. It's about 1.9 million bucks. By the way, I'm sorry if my voice doesn't sound too clear in this video. I woke up like 30 minutes ago. James Lee. If we're being honest here, yeah, James Lee is one of the strongest people in the verse. But he hasn't really done that much illegal activity. So I'm gonna switch it up for him. James Lee was strong enough to single-handedly humiliate the entire first generation with one hand in his pocket and the other holding a lollipop. So assuming that all gang members such as the workers and some first gen kings had bounties, how do you guys think James Lee would do as a bounty hunter? In my opinion, this would probably be the best decision the police force would ever take and they would need a pretty large sum of money. I mean, he can literally do their entire job for them. If there's ever a man out there they want to get rid of or imprisoned like a gang leader, they could just call James Lee. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Comment down below who you think would have a bounty in Lookism and what it would possibly be. And also thank you for the support on the latest video. I actually do appreciate it.